Alright, welcome back everybody. We're gonna do a quick review on God Hand. Yes, this was actually a community pick. Community pick. I don't even remember what it was going against. Another game. Another game. Yeah. <laughs> the community pick God Hand. God Hand. It was um, going against an Xbox game, I know. I can't remember either, either, but I do remember that people are like, You'd have your PS2 camp and you'd have your Xbox camp. Seen that big time, yeah. Yeah, so God Hand didn't, it wasn't a sweeping. It was close. It was close, yeah. yeah. So we'll we'll try to figure out what that other game You'll is. You'll pop it up. Pop it up. Here's one more. So, so anyway, I'm going to cover seven categories yep. real quick. Jen will name them off and I'll talk and drink and we'll all have fun, hopefully. We Let's get them. into the first category, yes, the which is. the first category we always start off with a story because I think that kind of introduces you into the game. You have yes. to start with story. All right. When you get into the story with this, the whole story is absolutely ridiculous. They're to the point of, like, I didn't even know what the story really was about. I had to go look it up. It's not the main focus. No, of the, game. the story is not the main focus it's of the not. game at all. You, you're playing as the main protagonist, uh, Gene, Gene, which is a fighter that had got his arm cut off and then it was replaced by the God Hand. The God Hand. Yes. Now, the, name. the arm was cut off by demons. Um, the demons, it's a demon army is invading Earth and they are ruled by a fallen angel that is now a demon king called Angra. Angra. Angra, yeah. Which you Angra, fight at angry. the end. You fight him at the end. <laughs> so, it's, it's just, uh, you're, you're going through a map and every section you hit in the map, you have to make your way through the town until you get to your boss. And every boss is ridiculous in his own way. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think the one that I really, re really remember is the first boss battle, which was two guys dressed up like showgirls. <laughs> and they were just giving me the lip service as they were kicking my ass. And and I they were kicking your ass. Oh my god! Yes. Yes. And they're just like, oh, he looks sexy. Oh, whip, 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 whip. And they just, <laughs> just, oh, you, yeah. could, you could put some gameplay into that. I was losing my mind. <laughs> you were. So I'm not. I don't think we need to spend any more time here on story because the story is like, yeah, there's you're, no not, story. you're not playing it for the story. Talk to us about the difficulty, Scott. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> There's two div levels of difficulty. I originally started it off on normal. Originally. I played it for about an hour and it is a grind. It is a real yes. grind. This game is a button mashing nightmare. It is. Do not use a good controller on this because you're going to beat the hell out of it. You <laughs> are. Analog sticks and everything. In the interest of saving time to get through the game, you basically talked me into dropping it down and not to, to easy. have a shit experience yes. cuz yeah. that's what i was worried was, about that you get to a point so, in the game and you'd be like i wish i would have played it on easy yeah. and it's not easy to switch games like this no. you can't so i did look it up and see what the difference was going to yeah. be between playing it on normal and playing it on easy and then apparently the only difference is that the enemies that you're fighting have about 80% health compared to a, 100% a, so compared to normal did you this think game you switched it Yes, <laughs> uh, but by the end of the game, uh, you get you get so good at yeah. the mechanics and just the, you can customize your fighter. You yeah. put all these different moves on it, and you customize the way you like to fight. And then by the end of it, that the last boss is just I'll, I'll talk about that because the last boss is basically two boss battles in yeah. a row, and I beat Devil Hand, which is the first boss. Yeah, and then to fight Angra. Anger, yeah. Afterwards. And Devil Ham gave me a hell of a fight until I figured him out. Yes. And then I was like, alright, I'm gonna save it there and then I'll you know, I had to go we had to go do something. Yeah. I uh, came back maybe an hour later. I was expecting to start off at him. No! It started me back right where Devil Hand is. And yeah. I oh I, I felt so defeated at that point there because it took me a while the first time to beat him, but the second time it took to beat him, I only think I only had to fight him maybe two, three times, and I beat Devil Hand. Yeah. And then I got into fighting Agra. But I don't know what happened at that point of the game, but something clicked in me. It was like a beautiful mind situation. He could see everything kind of that, coming into... Yeah, it's like everything was slowed down for me, because I he barely touched me. I, I think know. he I think I fought him only twice, maybe three times, again, like Angra. And yeah. he couldn't touch me. I was, I learned how to dodge. I finally learned 
like really learned how to dodge because I was you you have a a crazy dodge mechanic that's connected to your right analog stick, yeah. right? Fuck, I'm kicking ass there. This guy can't it touch me. It only took you the entire game. Yeah, well, you know, the out. entire game was about 14 and a half hours, I think, I put in yeah. to, to finish it on easy. Difficulty's hard at first because you start off at such yeah. a, a the bare bone yeah, minimum, but basic by the end of it there, it, the game was not hard enough. We yeah. talked about difficulty, and also can, the next category is gameplay. Yeah. I basically already talked about gameplay and how it works. There's a lot of it's a lot of grinding, but it's an it's action. It's a lot of grinding and a lot of grinding. Yeah. <laughs> this game is uh, would probably offend a lot of this generation, which means I love it. Yeah, which means Scott loved it. I love it. There's a few things, like I said, the t the two guys that dressed like showgirls that absolutely whip my ass and then there's the uh the, the the little mini power ranger guys oh yeah yeah they're yeah. very flamboyant also yeah and the ladies <laughs> the ladies this like a good the spanking. best part <laughs> the best part of the gameplay is when you're fighting some of the ladies and you get them to a point where they're stunned ladies is that it's like a almost like a Kind of a finishing move, but not really. But it's a big power move. You, yeah. They get them dazed, and you get a big move on it. It's like you put them over your knee, and you just, bah, 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 just give them a good old spanking. Yeah. And like the faster and harder you hit that button, the harder. You bah, 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 bah. <laughs> I'm sweating bullets down here. Get it, give it to her. I wish I had turbo on my controller. That's all I can say. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They couldn't I, make this game now. No, they definitely no. couldn't make this game now. Gameplay aside. Gameplay was really gameplay fun. Gameplay was really good. Really fun. What really about fun. the graphics, Scott? The graphics are like, it's, uh, <laughs> you know. Can I quote you on that? The graphics yeah. were like. Yeah. The characters were done well, especially the ladies. But I noticed a lot of when you're walking around the environment, mm -hmm. like you get close to a wall, that wall disappears like it's like yeah. yeah like a lot of little glitches and stuff yeah. like that did it detract from it no 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 it kind of added to the fact that like the, the game is it. quirky and it's definitely not or... taking itself seriously not at all no. and that's the best part of the game and yeah so you those glitches because it's not up like it's not like the perfect story with the perfect gameplay you kind of those glitches you're like hey, whatever. <laughs> It just adds to it. You're 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 having fun the entire game. Yeah, and, and it's those... PS2 as well. Exactly. So yep. I mean, you expect a certain yep. you know type of graphic from that era of gaming. Music and sound we kind of covered a little bit, but the the voice acting was hilarious because the voice acting is so cheesy. It's so good. Yeah, it's like that good cheesy friggin' crafting or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, it's yeah, so yeah, cheesy. It's, it's so good. Cheesy. Yeah, and the music. It's like. I've heard, I can still hear it in my freaking head right now. It's like some kind of a spaghetti western there. It yep. almost has like a wipeout theme. Yo, I know. And was it the same? the entire way through well uh, in your main menu and stuff like that okay. and certain levels but when you get into the uh farther into different towns they have their There's own different music. music yeah and like you said the voice acting is cheesy af i ran across this earlier i don't need it so it's yours a gift didn't i ask you to stay here well i need a favor in return that explains the gift it seems some people have been forced into slavery by the demons. I feel their pain. I'm a slave too. I uh, think I made a mistake. The slaves got it easy. <sighs> he really is just a little kid. But you expect it. Like it just you... added to it because the game plays ridiculously. And okay, so value and replayability. All right, let's get on to the replayability first. I played it on easy. And it was difficult, and then all of a sudden it just like it clicked, and mm -hmm. at the end of it, it was like they can't touch me. They can't touch Is me. Is there any aspiration uh, to I... want to go back and play it on normal? Because I, I definitely, I will. I, okay. def I will definitely go back and play it on normal. Oh, that's good. 
good. Yeah, I think it may have unlocked something after I beat it on easy. I can't really oh, remember off the top okay. of my head there because it's been a couple weeks. Replayability, it's so fun that you're going to want to replay it again. Yeah. And it's it's so fun that you're going to want to replay it with somebody else in the room with you there because oh, yeah. it's ridiculous. And it's so <laughs> expensive that you should replay it again. I was shocked at the price point yes. it's at now. We, we actually traded in on this game. So last January, we're talking a little over a year, a uh, local pawn shop had it listed at $105. We actually had some trade value, so we ended up spending just <clears throat> under 50. Yep. I could not yeah. justify telling anybody to go out and buy that game to play it at $200. Unless you are a big fan of that beat em up genre yeah. and you like that kind of humor. That <laughs> may be the reason why it's so expensive because. They're not making those anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how many copies were made of this game because it got really bad reviews when it came out. It Unjustly. Did, yeah. Unjustly. Because Unjustly. it is fun. So. Value replayability replay covered everything we could cover there and how we always tie this up our seventh uh, Category is overall my overall sum it up. I, I really enjoyed the game There were lots of times where I was like if I had hair I would have pulled it out. Yeah, but Beard once hair. you get past those points there It's it's the game is so fun and it's got that humor that I like yeah it, like I love, I really, I really enjoyed the game. You know, yeah. I don't, I don't know if I'd say I love it, but I would give it like at a ten, eight, eight and a half oh, on my wow. enjoyment level. There, that's, that, good. that's for my personal score. There, it's yeah. up there. But would I recommend somebody to go out and pay two hundred plus dollars for this? There, like unless you really like that yeah. genre, that humor. I would just try and uh, emulate. That would be the way to do it. I would recommend you play it, but I don't know if I would, rec would recommend everybody to buy that. Yeah, it's that's, a lot. See so if you can lot. find it for yeah. a really good price. If you about. are a collector, that's definitely a collector's item because it's Absolutely. so odd, it's so quirky, it's Yeah, so it's definitely different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I, anytime I came downstairs, I was like, what will I see today? <laughs> it was always a, an adventure of what yeah. would be on the screen. A great game overall, a great pick from the community. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, We're enjoying great pick. these community I really loved picks. It. Great pick. It's like having friends recommend games to Yeah, you. and you got, that's exactly yeah. what our community of YouTube followers are. It's like there are friends that yeah. we just don't see ever. Two find. thumbs up. Oh, that's four. But I just gave you two. Well. I do two. You're going to get a spanking. I've got practice. Fetch me my controller. No. Who fetches their own? Like, that's like go. Go break a stick up. Yeah, there. go You're cut your whooping. own twig. You're getting a woman. Go get me my controller. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, we will have more community picks in the future. Uh, we'll definitely let you guys know. It's always on the YouTube community tab and yep. Instagram and Twitter. And until next time, game on. Keep spanking. Keep spanking. That sounds different. <laughs>